what's up, what's up, what's up? It's me again, Mike Cardi. I'm back at you, coming at you with a video today. Um, you know, before we get started, you know, I love you all. Thanks to all my subscribers. I'm trying to get some more subscribers so I can get the message out there to people. So hit that subscribe button down below, people. If you haven't already, please like and share this message. So here we go today. Um, today's message is really about uh, the challenges and obstacles that life throws at you and when you have different um, things that come your way. And what I'm talking about is um, me I had to make a decision whether or not should I go back to school, you know, to get, you know, to finish some more education and everything like that, or should I just go ahead and just say, ah, oh, screw it, or, you know, pay the bill or whatever, and, and just do away with it. So, you know, what I, I, I thought about was I, I didn't want to waste the money or whatever without getting my certification, because I'm not the type that likes to start something and, and don't finish, but I've been so focused on trying to get certain dot my mobile notary, mobile tax service going, it really has taken a, a lot of time away from me studying and stuff so I can't let it fall by the wayside because I just being real ambitious and stuff so you know I, I had to sit and think to myself and I'm just like you know this epiphany came over me it's like you know Mike you just need to prioritize and, and you can get all this shit done on your own you don't have to sit here and try and pick and choose or whatever one thing over the other it can all fit into your life because why we got 24 hours in a day and we got 365 days and and that's the difference between you know us regular people and and the millionaire billionaires they utilize the same 24 hours 320 uh, 365 days a year I can't even talk Lord about the pull a Porsche of Williams on y'all uh, housewives but yeah they don't utilize the 365 days out of the year and um, that's one thing that I just said you know I need to utilize all this time because at the end of the day all of it's going to come together and be a one cohesive thing and everything you know whenever I, I finish my um my certifications and stuff and everything and, and also the mobile notary mobile tags and also Joe Bax, you know the the print company it's all gonna come together um, eventually I just have to work each piece you know as they as they supposed to be worked and everything can't really shortcut the deal because why it pretty much can 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 throw a monkey wrench into everything that I'm trying to do so like I say I, I just I just had to sit and think, you know, I'm, I'm just like, you know, Mike, you know, it's going to be another challenge for you. But, you know, every time that you have pushed yourself, you have really risen to the occasion. So this right here should really be nothing. It's just really about me prioritizing and putting the time in and, and setting a, a schedule up, you know, uh, so that I can get everything done, you know. And, and that's one thing that, you know, you guys need to start doing is which is really setting a to-do list and like a daily schedule and trying to stick to it because not really trying to stick to it because what it's going to do is going to condition it, it's going to mold you into uh, into it to being a better uh, uh, person uh, business wise and just overall in general organizational wise and also you know you're gonna be be more efficient so like I say um, we got 24 hours in a day, you know. Me, I'm a, I don't really sleep that much, so I just need to find time to to put put my energy into the schooling and everything, you know. Um, like I say, I'm a LPN, so what I'm talking about is me bridging over to become an RN and everything. I only got eight classes and stuff, but like I said, I just started, you know, certain doc a few months ago, and I just was really pumped and excited about that and get going, getting going with that. So now that I got the clients that's starting to come in, you know, you know, a little bit more regularly and stuff, you know, and now I can start you know picking and choosing assignments and stuff and also you know be able to allot that time for me to be able to go back to school so like i say it, it's 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 one of those things you know it's decisions that you have to make and i know this right here would be a great decision for me in my future and like i say my goal was to always be a nurse it never was to really just per se be an rn and everything but to actually be a nurse and i am a nurse so that's the one thing that i can say um that i have accomplished but i want to go the extra mile and everything and, and get that rn that way i can be you know um up there with the top dogs because you know i really do feel like the lpns are really under under um cut and everything like that let 
Let me roll this damn window up shit to fucking sand. I don't know if y'all ever just been around in down Florida or whatnot. It's just sand every motherfucking well. So sand blowing in my car as I'm filming this this video. So excuse me and everything. But like I say, LPNs, I feel like that they are really um, not respected, you know. And, and truth be told, if, if anybody wanted to know the difference between an LPN and an RN, it ain't much di much difference. Trust me, or whatever. We know the same stuff. We do the same procedures. Only thing is, RN has been to school for that extra little bit of knowledge to be able to supervise and to manage or whatnot and then they can do certain things like you know sign off on assessments and you know push IV medications but you know in some states LPNs are restricted where I'm from you know North Carolina we could we could about do it all just about you know but you know here they got restrictions down here you gotta have certification to do uh you know, IV uh, maintenance and stuff like that and everything I'm like you know with this shit I learned about it why I need to why I need to go to uh, to get an extra certification and I already took a test a nationwide test for this so whatever like I said um, you know that's just kind of how they get you but like I say this this right here was really about me having to make a decision in my life you know and it's about me going back to the to a topic that we already talked about which is investing in myself and and I know this is going to be a great investment in myself because when I, once I get the RN you do have a lot more flexibility and stuff as far as, far as being able to work in hospitals because some people like to discriminate on LPNs about working in hospitals so therefore it restricts us to just assisted livings and like clinic work and you know um home health and and, and so we're kind of limited in that sense so i know if i do get the um rn it's definitely gonna uh be a good thing as for you know financially wise as well you know nursing to me is nothing i, I do it like it's nothing it's nothing or whatever but you know financially definitely i could use that extra little bit of coin or whatever and then on top of that when I fully emancipate myself off of all these people's job and just fully start working my jobs 100% and I have another venture that's coming up that the RN is really going to I really need the RN for and everything so I can be the one to sign off on all the shit or whatever so that's why I need to go and get my shit together or whatever I just had to make a decision for myself and sometimes you got to do that or whatever you got to make those decisions and and see what's going to be best for your future you know and I right now I'm 32 years old and I ain't getting no younger so I pretty much need to go ahead and get everything done now that way I, I can really be sitting and chilling on my ass in the next like 15 20 years where I really can just be you know having people do everything for me or whatever you know as far as as far as like the manual stuff and everything you just be over the managing part the CEO part of stuff and and, and go from there so that's what that's what you know this whole video is about me just kind of just talking to you all about what I got going on in my life and everything it's actually kind of just like a daily vlog and everything let you know how I'm, how, how things is going so I had to make that decision I just made the choice to, to invest in myself I was going to go ahead and cancel I had already I just need to take my test for my, my microbiology class and everything and I just said you know you know, I, I let it fall by the wayside, but you know, at the end of the day, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and get this done because I don't like leaving business unfinished and everything like that. It, I, I feel like I still let that heifer, uh, that damn Bobby Reddick, uh, at uh, Winston Salem State University, I still feel like that she kind of that. Even though I'm still a nurse, I'm like, you know, I still, I'm like, no, nah, you tell, you told me I couldn't, so yeah, I got to go do. It. I got to go do and everything and, and, and that's how it's gonna be so like I say today it was just a random little vlog or whatever you know and it's really about you making life choices and stuff and and, and you really uh, making decisions for yourself that that could really prepare you for the future and and for me I had to make that decision do I want to let this fall by the wayside and just fall um, focus strictly on my businesses or do I want to do this and my business and just pretty much have good time management and, and money management and, and and I can do everything, you know, and, and be done with 
you know, with it in no time if I put my mind to it, because I'm a smart ass motherfucker. Well, especially when it comes to this this nursing thing. So, um, like I say, um, subscribe, people, if you haven't already. Like I said, I just want to talk to you all today. It's a good day, as you can tell. It's sunny. I know parts of the states has got some snow and some precipitation or whatever that may be a little cold. But I hope you all stay warm, stay loved, stay blessed, and everything. And I'll be coming right back at you with some more videos from Mike Hart and Mike Hart TV. All right, so please subscribe, people. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share, get the message out there to everybody because I know they need to hear it too. So I love you all. You all have a blessed day. All right, bye.